A very good morning uh, to all of you. We are live here at uh, the MCA grounds. The MCA G Division finals is uh, currently underway. We are all set to start off the proceedings of uh, of the finals. We have uh, mass active trading with uh, Geet Sankalpa, the skipper, Vimukti Deshapriya, Roshan Vichisekara, Sashin Disanayaka, Seumal Mihiranga, Heshan Tenwara, Dushmanta Disanayaka, Tarak Sandurwan, Uvindu Migara, Thilina Kasun and Gihan Charuka from uh, MA's Active. And uh, then of course we have the CDB Finance B team. Veranga Disanayaka, the skipper, Lalit Thiris, Chamel Silva, Vishwarat Naika, Dumindu Ambiligama, Tarudu Matushanka, Erandu Rukshan, Nashan Sampat, Isuru Jairanga, Punsarogimhan and Janit Ranasinghe. The lineup for this uh, finals. It's a 25 over game, this uh, MCA G Division finals. We have a slip in position, so we're going to start off the proceedings with, uh, with some spin. Oh, that was a good ball to start off. MS Active won the toss and elected to bat first uh, in this uh, finals. Promising to be an exciting contest between these two teams. Uh, obviously, being one of the top two teams in the tournament. Cut away this time. But couldn't pierce the gap. Uh, so, two dot balls on the trot. It's a 25 over game. So, if we look back into the tournament, this MCA. G Division Tournament, the two semi-finals, CDB B team uh, defeated Brandix B, that was a tight contest, CDB winning by just uh, two wickets, oh that was off the edge, but uh, was out of the range for the slip fielder, uh, runs on the board for Amaze Active. And the other semi-finals, MS Active winning the match against TJ Lanka. Obviously, MS Active, uh, their strong batting lineup posted 205 runs in their 25 overs. And TJ Lanka, again, almost came closer to that total, 191 in 25 overs for the loss of seven wickets, giving MS a win by 14 runs. Driven this time through the gap. It might run away for a boundary. Yeah, there we go. Confirmation from the umpire. It's a boundary. So first boundary. For Mez Active and Roshan Vijay Sekara. Starts off his proceedings in this finals with a glorious boundary through the cover region. Now Roshan Vijay Sekara and Sashin Disanayaka. Opening the batting for Ms. Active and Vishwarat Nayaka starting off the proceedings. A bit too full there. It was easy for the batsman just to uh, drive that ball towards uh, the extra carve region for a boundary. This time much straighter towards uh, the fielder. And a single taken. Good cricket all round from Roshan Vijay Sekara. Which is bowling uh, a touch too full, giving easy access for the batsman in these uh, power play overs. Just two fielders permitted outside the 30 yard circle. So that's the end of the over. Six runs coming off from that first over, and MA is active six without a loss.
So CDB opting to go with two spinners from both the ends. An interesting approach. Obviously, you can expect some uh, some turn and bounce early on in these battings. So I think that's the that was the thought process of uh, CDB skipper to go with uh, the two spinners from the two ends. Oh, that's a glorious shot from uh, Roshan Vijay Sekar once again. That's his second boundary. And this time, touch to short from the bowler. And he easily put away by Roshan Vijay Sekar. Just uh, two fielders permitted outside the 30 yard circle. So we have uh, a deep third man in position. Not a conventional uh, third third man field is a uh, bit more squared up. Once again, another quick single. Now this is good from Roshan, which is sacred. This is exactly what he did in the previous over as well. Just getting that boundary and getting off the mark. That's 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 the correct way to do it. The point and uh, cow fielders at the edge of the 30 yard circle. No slip in position for uh, Veranga Disanayaka, the skipper. A shortage extra cover is also in position for uh, Sashendi Sanayakas to stop that uh, easy single. So that's that's good thinking from Viranga. But this time tucked away towards uh, towards the leg side for a single. So far, a good start for him is active. A positive start, I should say. Two boundaries on the trot and then getting off the strike with singles. This time they might look for the second run. Yes, they're coming back for the second run again. Good placement from uh, this time it's Roshan which is sacred once again. Just uh, nudging the ball towards the gap and getting two runs quite easily. So that's the end of the second over. It's a 14 without loss. See, I like this approach from Rishirat Naik. He's bowling it a bit too full, but uh, since they're a slip fielder, and with the ball turning away from the left-hander, there's always a chance of uh, <coughs> there's always a chance of uh, getting that outside edge and a slip fielder coming into.
coming into the action. So, so I like this approach from Vishwarat Naika. Bowling around the wicket to the left hand, a slip in position. So the game plan is is clear. Is inviting the batsman to drive that ball towards uh, the cover region. That's, that was a good over, just two runs coming over from the three overs done, it's 16 without loss. The most runs the MCA G Division 25 over league tournament. Uh, at the moment we have Pavanta Veera Singha, 339 runs in eight matches with an average of 48. Milinda Veera Singha, six innings, 295 runs. And then we have the skipper of CDB, Viranga Disanayaka, 288 runs in 8 innings. And Dushmanta Disanayaka, Meme is active with 282 runs. And Roshan Vijayasekar with 281 runs in just 8 matches. Oh, that's a good looking shot once again. Might not run away for a boundary. Yeah, the batsman coming back for the second run. Oh, is that a chance? It's given as a wide, and the batsman will cross the end for a single. So two runs on offer for uh, the MAS active. So bowling change from the far end. Tharin the Madhushankar replacing Viranga, the skipper of CDBB team. See, so far it's been no spinners for MAS active. I haven't seen any fast bowlers coming into play. I think it's 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 a common thing when we're playing in matting conditions. Now ask you the question that time. Nothing, nothing from the umpire. But that was the first uh, real appeal from the bowlers of CDBB team. Tarudu Madhushanka just firing the ball in. Oh. Just inches away from the slip field at that time. Just trying to glide that ball towards uh, the third man region, obviously. Third man up in the circle. So Sashin Disanayaka understanding that there is an opportunity there. Now asking the question that time once again, but uh, nothing again from the umpire. This is turning out to be a good over from Tarudu Madhushanka. And Sashin Disanayaka in contrast to his uh, partner who's at the other end, Roshan, which is sacred 15 of 8. Sachin Dizanayaka just one run of 14 uh, deliveries. So he's, uh, he's still, I think, trying to get the hold of these conditions here at the MC grounds, obviously. Coming in as the opening batsman, your job has to be 
anchoring the innings, building up a good solid opening partnership to set the platform for the rest of the batsmen to come in and 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 uh, and get this team total up to a, a commandable one. But that's a good over. That's a very good over from Tarudu Madhushankar. Just uh, four runs coming off from that, but uh, opportunities were created in that over as well. So four overs done. It's uh, to do without loss. Right, so looking back at the most wickets of the MCAG Division 25 over League Tournament 2000 and to 22, we have Tarak Silva of Brandix B picking up 18 wickets in 8 matches. And the Tarak Dinesh of TJ Lanka, 17 wickets in 8 matches. Vishwarat Naika of uh, CDB, 15 wickets in 7 matches. An average of 7.53. Sachita Vikram Singha. 15 wickets uh, in 8 matches and uh, Dilan Sanjeeva of Hilton Residences with 14 wickets uh, in 7 matches. Oh, that's a good delivery. Vishwarat Naik is just continuing to bowl. That tight outside the off stump line. Not giving anything away. This is a good start. This is a very good start for CDB with the ball. Oh, that's a powerful, that's a powerful shot. And it's gone all the way for the boundary. See, Roshan Vijayasegara. He's on an attacking mode this morning. Trying to uh, get MAs active to a flying start in these finals. We all know how important it is for the team batting first. To get a good start, a good confident start. And that is exactly what Roshan Vijayasekar is trying to do at the moment. Oh, that time once again, the leading edge coming into play. And uh, it's gone all the way for the boundary. A bit too unlucky there for Vishwarat Naika, just out of the reach for the slip fielder. The outfield is lighting fast here at the MC ground, so obviously there's value for your shots. So it's just about placement, it's just about timing the ball and uh, the outfield will do the rest. This time easy, easy two runs there on offer for the for Roshan Vijay Sekar moves up to 25 in just uh, 14 deliveries. So 10 runs coming off from that over, 5 overs done, it's uh, 30 without loss. Roshan Vijayasekar, 25 of just 14 deliveries with 4 fours up to his name already. So that last over was a good one for uh, him. He's active. Ten runs coming off for that over. Right, so still going with spin. That is active. Or rather, the CDBB. 
swept away this time. Not a convincing looking shot. It's a wide given by the umpire. So it missed everything. Just on the bounce to the field at point. So deep mid wicket in position for uh, Sashin this Anaika. Obviously trying to guard that uh, sh occasional short pitch delivery from the spinners. But Tarun Madhushanko is bowling his second over, just given away only seven runs. A very simple action, Tarun Madhushanko. He's delivering the ball you know, with a very simple action, but uh, he's he's landing the ball in correct areas. See, that has to be the key for for a spin, especially bowling with the new ball. You got to bowl in tight line and lens, not giving anything away. It's a, it's a different challenge bowling in the power play with only two fielders outside the thirty yard circle. It's it's a different challenge, but so far, I think these uh, CDB spinners. I've taken that challenge really well. Just uh, restricting these MAs active for just 34 runs in the first six overs. Here we go, the bowling, Vishwanat Nayaka. Uh, three overs, not for 16. The skipper Viranga bowled only one over, went for eight runs, and uh, Tarindu as well, delivering the ball really well. The, r the run rate, f just about five and a half runs per over, which is... Uh, which is healthy for MS Active, but CDB, they'll be pretty happy with their effort so far as well. Right, so it looks like we're having another bowling change, and uh, yeah, we finally got a fast bowler from CDB. A medium pace bowler, judging from his uh, run up. Overcast conditions here at the MC grounds. It was cloudy right from the morning, but we didn't receive any any rain, so that's good. A short pitch delivery to start off, whacked away from Roshan Bijay Sekar, but not timed up to the up to the perfection. Deep third man fielder coming into play, just uh, a single stop in that boundary. So overcast conditions. The players would prefer these conditions to play. That's given as a wide there. Randrukshan just uh, missing uh, missing his line a bit. A good support for both the teams here at the MC grounds. Obviously, it's a Saturday, so you can expect uh, the people who are working in these companies to come in and, and see their 
friends, their families, their husbands, their friends playing in this uh, finals. It's it's a big game. This MCG division, we're just uh, three tournaments away from completing this uh, season, the MCA cricket season, which is three tournaments away. Again, that's a good-looking shot. Has gone all the way for a boundary. Roshan Vijayasek is just continuing his good work. Again, touch too short from Miranda Rukshan. He's, he's a very strong puller of the ball, Roshan Vijayasek. And he's not going to miss out those. 31 inches, 17 delivery. It's a very commanding start. Now, this is turning out to be a good start for him. He's active. 41 without a loss, a good opening partnership with Roshan Vijayasekar taking the majority of the strike there. No, in fact, Sashin Disanayak has taken majority of the strike. 22 deliveries for him, just two runs. But Roshan Vijayasekar making the most out of the 17 deliveries he faced. A quick single. That's good. That's something that uh, I admired right from the start of this uh, start of these innings. Getting that boundary and getting the single. The game plan is simple but very effective from uh, the MA's active. Right, so the game plan for Sasha in this Anaika is uh, has faced 23 deliveries now. Just to get two runs, I think 23 deliveries is, uh, is fairly enough for the batsman to get the hang out of these conditions and to get the hang out of these bowlers so it's just about going in and then play your natural strokes and obviously run it runs are coming Roshan which is playing a good innings 32 of 18 so Sachin Disanayaka that gives Sachin Disanayaka a bit of uh, freedom to to settle in but now I think uh, his game plan should be to get those singles and get Roshan Vijayasekar back on strike. So getting the single, that should be the game plan for Sasha in this Anaika. 7 overs done, it's uh, 42 without loss. No ball there. Now this is the perfect opportunity for uh, Sasha this and I get a free hit. 24 deliver deliveries for just two runs. Now this is the chance to break the shackles. Can he dispatch this delivery for a boundary? Oh, that's a good looking shot. That's a good looking shot. That will definitely boost up the confidence of uh, Sasha this and I has gone for a boundary. That will definitely ease the pressure of Sasha this and and will boost his confidence. Again, trying to, trying to get that quick single, but this time, Sashin Disanayake is not the quickest uh, between the wickets, but Roshan is obviously quick between the wickets, but Sashin is not the quickest. And that's a good looking shot once again. 
That's gone for the boundary. So this is this is a good over for Sashin Desanayake. He's finally getting those boundaries. He's finally getting those fine contacts with the bat. Ten runs uh, for Sashin Desanayake. Two fours on the trot for him. Turning out to be another good over for MS Active. Already 10 runs coming off from this over. With uh, two more deliveries to go. Oh, that's a good-looking shot once again. It goes all the way for a boundary. That's a poor delivery from Tarada Madhushanka. Wide outside the off stump. Short pitch delivery. And it deserved that boundary. That delivery deserved the boundary. Sashin Dizanayak now looking very, very solid out in the middle. Three boundaries in this over. And all three belonged to Sashin Dizanayak. He moves up to 14 in no time. Fifty six runs without loss with one more delivery to go. Fourteen runs from this over from Tarindavanda Shankar. That time left alone. Oh, well, that's a good over for uh MS active. Fourteen runs uh, coming off from that over. Fifty six without loss after the end of the eighth over. This is a really big challenge for the unbeaten CDB team. 56 runs, the opening partnership. Scoring at a brisk rate of almost 7 runs per over. Punch down the ground. Just a single, a full toss. From Miranda Rukshan. So I sent this and I just punching the ball down the ground for a single that time. Oh, that's a good-looking shot from once again from Roshan with Jessica, but this time just a single. But looking at these shots from Roshan with Jessica, it gives 
a good idea about the confidence of the batsman. He's playing good strokes. Even for singles, he's playing good shots. He's middling the ball well. So that gives a good idea about the uh, the overall confidence of uh, of the batsman, Roshan Vijayasekhar. Being one of the top performers for him is active in this tournament among the runs for his team. And that's the end of the over. Nine overs done. It's a 60 without loss. Vishura Tiger bowling his uh, fourth over. Now for 16. Oh, that's a good shot from uh, Roshan Vijay Sekara, and it goes all the way for a six. That's the first six of the innings, and it belongs to Roshan Vijay Sekara. That's a powerful struck, a powerful shot from uh, Roshan Vijay Sekara. Moves up to 41 with that six.
Cut away this time, just a single. This is a really good start for uh, the MS Active. Obviously, CDB being the unbeaten team, there's always that pressure of facing an unbeaten team in the finals. But so far, they've been able to tackle these challenges really well. This opening partnership, now almost 70 runs. And going at a really good rate. Almost uh, 7 runs per over. With one batsman at 43 of just 26 and the other one 17 of 37. This is a perfect uh, time for uh, MS Active to change their gears. As we're approaching the last 15 overs of the match. Get some quick runs on the board and get past the 200 runs. See, once you get past the 200 run, it gives that confidence, that uh, mental confidence, because you have 200 plus runs on the on the board, and that gives some freedom for the bowlers to to try out some things, to invent something, to do something inventive, and uh, that might pay off. So it's important for these batsmen to establish a good total at the end of their 25 overs. So I would say the minimum at this rate would be 200. Off the edge and this time it's taken a run the Rukshan with the first breakthrough for CDB. And Sasha Disanayaka just uh, chasing and the ball outside the off stump, it was right outside the off stump, bit too full, it was there to be struck, but uh, where well, it's been that kind of a day for Sasha Desanayaka. 17 of 40 deliveries. And that's the first wicket. So Sasha Desanayaka gone for 17, a good catch behind the stumps from Duminda Ambiligama. So three fours for him, it's 17 in 40 deliveries and 69 for the loss of one wicket. Dushmanta Sanaka is the new batsman in for uh, MA's active. Where are the Rukshan getting that breakthrough? Full toss worked away towards the leg side. And it's a boundary. So Dushmanta Disanayaka getting off the mark with a boundary. But that's a poor end to what would have been a good over. So, but still, I think it's a good over. Just five runs coming off from that. And a wicket. A crucial breakthrough. The projected scores for him is active. As I mentioned earlier, yeah, 12 runs per over will get them to 241 runs. So that's a really good total. But at this rate, it'll get them to 165 runs. Uh, so they got to accelerate a bit, especially at the 10th overs. We have 14 more overs remaining in the game. 
So the the time is there. It's all about that one innings that will go on. So 42 of 36 for Roshan Vijay Shekhar with five fours and a, and a six. So he's been the star batsman. So his survival out in the middle will uh, will make things uh, a bit more complicated for uh, the CDB. But they got to be sharp in the field. They got to take those catches. So far, there weren't many many opportunities for the fielders. But the opportunities will come down. That's again a good shout from the bowler but again nothing from the umpire probably sliding down the leg side or maybe the height might be the issue it's difficult to say from this angle that Vishwaratna who's bowling his fifth over given away only 24 runs but yet to pick up a wicket they need wickets at this stage of the game Oh, another chance. Or was that a chance? It was a difficult chance. Coming just off the bounce. But that was a difficult chance. But the ball... It goes all the way for a boundary. Roshan Vijay Sekara Closing in to that half century. 47 of 30 deliveries for him. This time a single. The, now this is this. Uh, this has to be one of the highlights of Roshan Vijay Sekhar's innings. Whenever he got those, who got that boundary, he's always looking to get that single. So that is a good sign. That's a sign of a, a quality of a good batsman, a quality of a proper batsman. Rather than going for back-to-back -back boundaries or trying to go for the back-to-back -back boundaries, obviously if there is an opportunity, if, if if the opportunity is there, obviously you can go for back-to-back -back boundaries. But the ideal case. Should be always to get off the spark after hitting that boundary. That is exactly what Roshan Vijay Sekhar has done. And he's on 48 of 31 deliveries in the finals. Right, so last ball of this over. Five runs so far. Dushpanta Sanaik is on strike. Oh, that's a good delivery to end the over. Just ball turning away from uh, Dushmanta Sanaik, the right-hander. And 12 overs done. It's uh, 78 for the loss of one wicket. So another spinner coming into play for uh, CDB. And he gets a single moves up to 49.
Oh, that's a good delivery from Mashan Sampat. That's a wide. 80 runs on the board with that uh, with that wide delivery. Quick single. Good cricket all round. Dushmanta Disanayak getting off this getting off the strike. The quick single. Soft hands, that's the key. Whenever you're whenever we're going to to get those uh, singles and twos, you got to play with your soft hands. Right, so there we go. That runs away for a boundary and that brings up his third half century in the tournament, Roshan Vijay Sekara. And uh, a brilliant innings in the finals. Certainly leading his team towards uh, a commandable total in this uh, finals. Roshan Vijay Sekara, 53 of just 33 deliveries. Seven fours and a six. In the innings so far for Roshan Vijay Sekara. Just uh, five runs away from being the highest run scorer of the tournament. This is a really good innings. Roshan Vijay Sekara. This is this is this is the kind of oh that that might run away for another boundary yeah it does it got, does go all the way for a boundary and moves up to 57 now just one run away from being the highest run scorer of the tournament and that's the end of the over 13 overs done just uh, 89 runs on the board for the loss of one wicket there we go Roshan which is taken a 57 of 35 a very good opening partnership alongside Sachin Desanayaka. See, this is the kind of kind of uh, innings that you need from your opening batsman. He came in and right from the very start, he started scoring runs. And whenever he he received that odd delivery, or rather a poor delivery from the bowler, he was not afraid to go for the big shots. And he got those boundaries, seven fours up to his name and a six. So that tells you the story. He respected the good deliveries, but was merciless against uh, deliveries that were off their line and length. So, it's a perfect innings from Rashan Vijay Sekara. Right, so 89 runs on the board, 13 overs done. Tushmanta Desanayake is on strike. Oh, that's a very soft dismissal. And Dushmanta Disanayaka 
Hitting it straight back into the bowler's hand, and that's the second wicket. Punsarogi Mahana picking up a wicket in his very first over. Dushmata Desanaka gone for five of nine. Court and ball, Punsarogi Mahana. And now it's 89 for the loss of two wickets. Geet Sankalpa is the new batsman in for uh, the MAS active. Two wickets down for 89 runs. So CDB just uh, s slowly but surely creeping back into this game. Two wickets in quick succession. The run rate now. Just about six runs per over early. It was uh, almost seven runs per over. So now... Things have uh, gotten back into CDB's hand. Oh, well, yeah. CDB beat him the bowling so far. Punsar Gimhana picking up one wicket in his very first over. And it under Shantri over is one for 17. But, and... Uh, it was a maiden that last over. Wicket maiden in the 15th of the rather the 14th over. That's an impressive bowling over from uh, Punsana. Oh, that's a good delivery to start off this over. The 15th over. And after this one, we'll be having only 10 overs. Now this is a really good follow-up over from Isuru Jayang after that maiden from Punsara. Punch on the ground. <laughs> it will be just a single. They have the protection in the deep. Yeah. 
Prashant Vijay Seeker on 58 of 38. The last ball of this uh, 15th over. Oh, that's a good delivery to end the over. Four, uh, 15 overs done. It's uh, 91 for the last of two wickets. Oh, that's a good shot. That's going all the way for a six. That's a powerful shot there from Geet Sankalpa. Second six of the innings. That's a good way to start off the proceedings. A touch too full from Geet Sankalpa once again. And powerfully struck from Geet Sankalpa. Oh. The score moves up to 99, leg by signal by the umpire. So now Geet Sankalpa, he has to go for the big shots. Now in the last 10 overs after this one, it's only 9 overs remaining in the game. Now that's up in there. Surely a chance. No, it's gone all the way for a 6. That's gone all the way for a 6. For a moment, it looked like there was a chance for the field in the deep. But no, it goes all the way for a 6. 100 up for MA's active. 105 runs on the board. The loss of just two wickets and Geet Sankalpa obviously doing the correct thing, going for the big shots and so far he has two sixes up to his name. <coughs> Punch on the ground once again and uh, is it a six? Yes, it is a six. Well, back to back sixes, Punsaragimana. Uh, the bowling that Wicket made in his previous over is he's under pressure in this over with three sixes so far. And all three belonged, or rather all three belongs to Geet Sankalpa. 20 of just seven deliveries. It's been an amazing inning so far. But can he continue the job? Can he, can he carry on his team get past the 200 runs? That's a big question. Last ball of this over. A big over for MS. Now that's a good looking shot. Oh, he's going all the way for a six. It has to be the biggest of the four. It has to be the biggest of the lot. And look looks like we are in need of a new ball. Well, that's a common thing here at the MC grounds. Get sunk up. 26 runs of just eight deliveries. Four sixes so far for him. Uh, it's been an amazing striking so far from Geet Sankalpa and uh, it's time for some drinks break and we'll be having a new bowl as well
Right, so 16 overs, that last over, 24 and 26 runs from that over. 26 runs from that over. That's a massive over for women is active. Right, so Roshan Vijayasekhar is on strike. He's on 58. A full toss swept away. And that single will uh, take him to the top of the... Uh, as well his highest score 64 runs in the tournament so today he has the chance of getting past that 64 runs as well he's on 59 at the moment off the edge and taken third wicket and the first for isuru janga git sankalpa after playing some really good shot finally has to perish for just uh, 26 runs of 90 lewis a very good innings under the circumstances And Isra Janga picking up his first ticket. So 118 for the loss of three wickets now. And 16.2 deliveries. Udumigara is the new man in for uh, MA is active. Right, so he's on strike and he's Rija Anga. Off the edge, but this time a single taken. Now asking the question and nothing given away from the from the umpire. But that was a good delivery and a good appeal from the bowler, a good over after that uh, 26 runs over from Punsara in the previous run. 17 overs done, it's 1-2-1 uh, for the loss of three wickets.
Edin always done. It's 126 for the loss of three wickets. Uh, five runs coming off from that over. Well, it's been the last few overs been a rather quiet uh, phase uh, for him is active. The run rate now almost uh, seven runs per over. Now that's up in there. Surely a chance. You've got to take those. Oh, I dropped. Oh. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's run out. At the bowler's end. I wonder what happened there. They, they were coming back for the second run. It, it looked like the ball. He hit the batsman on, on the way. And let's hope, let's hope he's okay. It's just a minor blow. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's just limping away at the moment. See, that was uh, up in there for a long time. Still, the wicket giver had to uh, cover some ground. He got to the ball, but uh, couldn't quite uh, collect the ball properly. But he was quick to recover and uh, send the ball towards... Uh, towards the non-striker's end. But uh, that's, a, that's a fine innings from Rashan Vijay Sekar. Nothing to take away from that innings. 62 of just 46 deliveries, 8 fours and a 6. And a, a rather unfortunate way to get dismissed. But nevertheless, it's, it's, it's a good innings. So 127 for the loss of 4 wickets. Now, CDB, they're surely back in this game. Two new batsmen out in the middle. And the spinners controlling the game really well. Yusuri Chang picking up his, uh, or rather, he already picked up his one wicket, but this time around, the run out coming into play. So, Vidu Bikara. Tarakas on the run is new batsman in. See now the job for these two batsmen at, ha at, the, at their hands is now we're in the last 10 overs of this match. So after this one we'll be having only 6 overs. So they've got to make sure that they're getting close to that 200 run mark. It's an uphill task, yes, but it's very gettable. At least to get past 180. They should try to get past 180. But it's been a good uh, comeback, or go rather a good resistance in the last few overs from CDB, picking up those crucial wickets in regular moments and, and not giving away easy runs. So this, uh, this, is, this is a good comeback from, uh, from CDB, obviously being the... Uh, the being the unbeaten team, you can expect a good fight back from CDB and that is exactly what they have done so far. Now that's up in there once again. Is that a chance? Yeah. And it's taken. Second wicket for Isuru Jairang. It was up in there for a very, very long time. The fielder had plenty of time to settle down that delivery and he gets the wicket. So that's a fifth wicket down and CDB, they're surely back in this game. 
And Tarek is under one, trying to go for a big shot. Didn't time it perfectly. And it went very high up in there. And a fielder taking a really good catch in the deep. So five round for 128. And uh, Tarek is under one, gone for a duck. TheBatsman.com bringing you all these live pictures right here from the MCA grounds. The MCA G Division Finals. We brought to you the MCA Super Premier League Finals as well. So the G Division Finals. M is uh, active as uh, CDB. And so far, we had a really good game at our hands. Right, so f uh, six more overs to go. 128 runs on the board. As I mentioned earlier, 180 should be the minimum for MA's active. Now asking the question that time, probably sliding down the leg side, the batsman was uh, down his mark as well. So we looked at the shop Priya trying to nudge that ball towards the leg side, but uh, didn't get a proper connection that time. Veranga Disanaka, the skipper, is back with the ball. Bowled only one over, or rather two overs in his first spell, but now back with the ball to bowl these last few overs. Well, that's a boundary. That's a poor delivery from Veranga Desanayaka. Wide outside the off stump. Touch to full as well. And Vimukti Desha Priya. I just uh, lagged on to it and played it really well towards the gap for a boundary. Much needed boundaries for MA's active. 132 runs on the board for the loss of five wickets. Again, he's he's uh, he's bowling it short, a rather medium pace deliveries, short pitch deliveries. This time, work towards uh, the fine leg region for a single. Right, so five runs from this over with two more deliveries to go. Uh, the f deep fine leg coming into the 30-yard circle. So you have a packed offside field. Deep scar leg, deep mid wicket in position. Long on as well. Long on and long off back. Oh, that's a good looking shot. Running hard, trying to come back for the second run. And it's gone all the way for the boundary. So this is turning out to be a good over. Just uh, two boundaries already. And that's the end of the over. Ten runs coming over from that over. A good run for him is active 138 for the loss of five wickets. Trying to get a quick single that time. The wicket keeper missing this, missing the wickets. 
it's not e easy task to uh, to get a direct hit with uh, with the keeping gloves on but that that was surely an opportunity uh, for uh, cdb Elegantly played, just a single. Turning out to be a good over from Isra Janga. He bowled well, 3.5 overs, given away just uh, 11 runs and picked up two wickets as well. A good spell from uh, from Isra Janga. Cut away this time, but will be just a single. Got the protection in the deep scrolling region. But that's a good over. That's a very good over from Isra Janga once again, or rather Isra Jayaranga. Four runs from that over. 21 overs done. Uh, five more, uh, rather, four more to go. And MA is active so far with the bad Roshan, which is taken 62 of 46 deliveries. A brilliant innings up front. And Geet Sankalpo also contributed with 26 runs in just nine deliveries with four sixes. That, without a doubt, uh, boosted the confidence, boosted the momentum of the game for MA is active, but still. I feel like they're 20 runs short of uh, of the target that they would have hoped to reach at the end of the 21st over, 142. So at the moment they're dealing with singles, so that won't uh, trouble the CDB. They got to uh, got to stop those boundaries uh, and uh, got to restrict these MAs active with the lowest score as possible. Off the edge that time, almost chopped it back. Quick single, uh, good running between the wickets that time from uh, Uvidu Migara. Both the batsmen just trying to use the pace of the delivery to glide that ball towards the, the third man and the final leg regions. Now that's 
Is it a six or is it a four? Yes, it's a four. It's a four. But that's uh, much needed boundaries for uh, MAS active. And Vimukti Desha Priya moves up to 16 with that uh, boundary towards uh, the deep mid wicket region. Got to the pitch of the delivery quickly and uh, played it well over the, over the head of the fielder who was inside the 30 yard circle and also from the fielder who was, uh, who was in the deep. Last ball of this over, six runs uh, from this one with one more delivery to go. A dot ball to end the over. 22 overs done is 148 for the loss of five wickets. Tilina Kasun is uh, the new man in for uh, for him is active. Six down for 149. Isuru Jang, three wickets for just 13 runs in 4.2 overs. Bowling his last over. What a bowling spell in this final from Isuru Jang, Jayaranga. Three wickets for just 13. Punch down the ground. That would be just a single. One fifty up for him is Zach too. One fifty for the loss of six wickets. 
Oh, it's gone. That's the seventh wicket. Brilliant uh, stumping uh, from behind the stumps. Isuru Jayaranga picking up his fourth wicket. That was a wide delivery, but uh, the, the game of Vianos from the wicket keeper behind his stumps was uh, just uh, unimaginable. Uvidumigar gone for 12. Dumidu Ambiligaba once again coming into the action with a stumping. It's 12 uh, for Uvidumigar and 151 for the loss of uh, seven wickets. Hishan Tenwar is uh, the new man in. Twenty two runs uh, in four overs for Isuru and picking up four wickets as well. A brilliant spell from uh, him. Though that last ball went all the way for a six, it's been a good spell from him in these finals. Right, so two more overs to go. 158. Can they get closer to that uh, 180 run mark? If they can, it'll be a good total at the end of 25 overs. Punch on the ground. A good effort from the fielder, but it runs away for a boundary. Punsanagimana, though his first over was a maiden, now he has gone for, what, 37 runs. Or is it 33 runs in 23.3 overs? That's a dramatic turnover. Now that's up in there. A chance. Ah, it's gone all the way. It's gone all the way for a six. A four and a six. It is over. And uh, Punzara just uh, going away for runs at this stage of the game. And now he is active slowly, slowly but steadily inching towards that 180 run mark.
170 runs on the board. They have the chance now. 12 runs from this over. Two more deliveries to go. Look at that figures. Punsar Gimana, his first over was a maiden. But uh, since then, he has gone for 43 runs in just... Uh, just uh, what 2.4 overs That's the end of the penultimate over. 24 overs, 173 for the loss of seven wickets. One more over to go. Right, so the last over of the of the innings for him is active. 173 runs. Looks like a run the, is going to bowl this uh, last over. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Hey <laughs> Shanti Just trying to get back to the other end, trying to get a single, but the non striker was uh well he didn't move at all. So Eshan Tenura, after hitting it 1-6 uh, and a boundary, was for 13 of 6 deliveries. Eight.
Sirman Mihiranga is the new man in uh, for uh, MS. Oh, that's gone. That's a brilliant court and board from the from Miranda. That was that was hammered back into the bowler from Tilly Nakasun. But uh, a really good catch from Miranda Rukshan. So nine down for hundred and seventy four runs. So far the first three is a wicket. Just one run and then another wicket. Tilina Kasun gone for just eight, 10 runs. Randurukshan picking up his second wicket in his finals. Gihan Charuka, the last man in for uh, MS. That time, a uh, single for him. So far, a really good last over from Miranda Rukshan, not giving anything away. Bowling his uh, fourth over, two wickets for just 19 runs, an excellent bowling spell from the fast bowler. Well, uh, CDB, they didn't use, uh, I think Miranda was the only fast bowler, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and he bowled well. Oh, trying to go for a big shot, but uh, a wild swing from Somal. Right, so last ball, 175. That's up in there. Is it going to be the third wicket? Oh, it's dropped. Good running between the wickets and a good way to finish off. But what an excellent last over from Miranda Rukshan. Just four runs and two wickets in the in this over. And uh, MA is active. 177 runs on the board for them for the loss of nine wickets. And look at that right after that 15th over. MA is active. Started losing wickets in regular intervals. And that forced them to restrict themselves to just 177 in, in their allocated 25 overs. An excellent comeback from CDB after that fine opening partnership from, H, uh, from the MAs. CDB came back pretty strong and uh, restricted the MAs active for just 177 runs. So looking back into the batting of MAs active, Roshan Vijay Sekar, 62 of 46, the standard performer with the bat. Gid Sankalpa, 25 of just ni 26 of just 9 deliveries. Uh, Vemukta Desha Press, 16 of 14 as well. So 177 with 12 extras in their 25 overs. With the ball, Isra Jairanga, the stand-up performer, 4 wickets for 22 runs in his 5 overs. Punsar Gimana was touch expensive, 46 runs, but he picked up a wicket in his very first over. Eran Drukshan, another brilliant display, 4 overs, just 2 wickets for 21 runs. And the uh, rest of the spinners also contributed uh, with uh, bowling some economical overs. So that opening partnership was 69 runs and then it was followed by another decent uh, couple of partnerships, 20 and 29 respectively. But uh, from there onwards, things started to collapse for MS Active, restricting them for 177 runs in their 25 overs. S uh, 
so there we go uh, right after that 15th over look at those uh, red dots those are the wickets and you can see the story the wickets started to collapse right after that 15th over and uh, the CDB really came back into that match so 177 for the loss of nine wickets in 25 overs with seven sixes and 16 fours uh, for the name M is active it's uh, been a decent performance with the bat but uh, Again, CDB being the strongest side, I think they will have uh, the advantage in uh, the finals, uh, chasing down a target of 178. But it's cricket, so we'll never know what will happen. So uh, we'll take a short break and we'll be back with the runches of CDB.
All right, so welcome back uh, to the runches of CDB, chasing down a target of 178 runs to win this uh, MCA G Division title. Yeah, the 11th Honda MCA G Division finals. Batting first, MCA won the... Uh, MAs won the toss, elected to bat first and scored 177 runs uh, for the loss of nine wickets in their 25 overs. With uh, Roshan Vijayasekar scoring 62 of 46 deliveries, the only half centurion in that innings. And uh, now they're chasing down a target of 178. Isuru Jairanga recording the best of bowling figures of four wickets for 22 runs in his five overs for CDB. And now the job is over to the batsman to chase down this target, a rather modest target of 178 in 25 overs. From what we have see, seen in the tournament, what CDBE have achieved in this tournament, 178 looks like a, a fairly decent target for them to chase down. They've been one of the dominant forces, unbeaten. Remember, CDB, they're unbeaten in the tournament so far. Tarun the Shankar, the opening batsman, one of the opening batsmen for uh, CDB. And the skipper, Viranga Disanayaka, at the other end. So the skipper Viranga at the uh, striker's end. All set to start off the proceedings of these runches. 178 runs, that's the target for CDB to uh, become the title winners of this MCA G Division uh, tournament. And uh, in contrast to what we saw in these previous innings, where MA has opted to go with the spinners, looks like CDB they opted to go with the fast bowler. Good pace uh, from the bowler. Veranga just trying to work that ball towards the offside. Missed it by just inches. Missing that outside edge. Oh, that's gone. That's a good catch. That's a really good catch by the third man fielder. Deep third man was in position. A short pitch delivery outside the off stump. And a wicket in his very first over for the bowler. And that's a big, big wicket. Emes loses there. Skipper Wiranga Disanayaka for a duck. This is a brilliant start for CDB. A wicket in his very first over for uh, Sir Mal Mihiranga. A duck for Viranga Disanayaka. Uh, this is a brilliant start for uh, CDB. They're picking up a wicket. See, early wickets are very, very crucial. Not for CDB, but for MAS. A pick of one. This is a brilliant start for MAS. Ashan Sampath is the new man in for uh, CDB, chasing down a target of 178. See, especially when defending a total like 178 in 25 overs, it looks like an easy target. But still, once you get those early breakthroughs, it's always a hard for the uh, uh, chasing team to capitalize on on getting their runs and getting the 
getting the run chase uh, in a well constructed manner so getting those early breakthroughs getting those wickets up front in the power play would be crucial for ms so that is exactly what they've done so far picking up a wicket in his very first over another wicket or two in the power play will definitely make things much more easier for ms in these finals Oh, another chance, another chance. The time was straight into the hands of the fielder and uh, the non-striker was halfway down the track trying to get to the other end, but uh, yeah, not collected properly by the fielder. Allowed the non-striker non to be back. Sponge really well, just a single. Last ball of this over. Just one run and a wicket so far. Wide out to the off stump, but just a single. So first over done. Two runs on the board for the loss of one wicket. Oh, that time an edge flying away from the slip fielder. And it goes all the way for a boundary. The first boundary of the innings uh, coming off the edge.
five runs, uh, five runs from this over so far. From Gihan Charuka. A decent start so far from uh, from MAS. The two fast bowlers operating from the two ends, doing a fine job in terms of restricting this uh, power play. That'll be a wide as yes, it is a wide signal by the umpire. Quick single there from uh, Tanidu. So Roshan Vijayasekara, the highest run score of the tournament so far with 343 runs of MA is active. A staggering average of 42 for him. And uh, from CDB, CDB B team, we Veranga Dizanayaka, the dismissed batsman, the skipper, with the highest run score with 288 runs with an average of 41. And Ashan Sampat, who's, uh, who's out there in the middle at the moment, 269 runs in 8 innings. Again, another good average of 44.83, a strike rate of 116 as well. So he's been uh, one of the key performers for uh, CDB with the bat. So his survival out in the middle will... Uh, will definitely help uh, CDB to chase down this target of 178 runs. So that's the end of the over. Two overs done. It's uh, nine for the loss of one wicket. Well, we had a small interruption uh, due to a power failure, but uh, we're back live right here from the MC grounds. In three overs, 15, uh, or rather 16, with the loss of one wicket. Off the edge, but uh, away from the slip field, uh, just a single. So far, a really good start for MAS. The two fast bowlers operating from the two ends giving uh, MAS a real good chance in these finals, uh, getting them into a really good start with the ball. The run rate, just above five runs per over. Very manageable at this stage of the game, but still there's a long, long way to go. That's a good looking shot, but just a single.
Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Mashan Sampath. That's gone all the way for a boundary. Much needed boundaries for CDB. And the score goes up to 22 with that boundary. Ah, there we go. That's the second wicket. Ashan Sampa just trying to play across the line of the delivery. Getting that outside edge and a good take from the wicket keeper. Two wickets down for 22 runs uh, for CDB. Now this is a brilliant start as I mentioned earlier for MAS. The ball in good areas, they're bowling in good line and lens, not giving anything away. And it's been a brilliant and brilliant start for them. Gihan Charuk picking up his first wicket in 1.4 overs, picking up one wicket for 14 runs. Punched on the ground, but just a single. Vishwarath Nayakra, the very first ball. Now that's that time off the edge and it's taken. That's the second wicket for Gihan Charuka and CDB losing their way. That's the third wicket for MS. The second for Gihan Charuka and now 23 for the loss of three wickets. MS, they're certainly back in this game after scoring 177 in 25 overs. They needed something special up front and the two fast bowlers. They're delivering it for the for their teams. Twenty three for three in four overs, a brilliant start for MS.
Still Mahad Mihiranga. Bowling his third over, one wicket for just six runs. Brilliant display of fast bowling. See, both these bowlers, what they did was they're bowling in tight line and lengths, not giving anything away, not giving any width outside the off stump to these any of these batsmen. And they're bowling... Uh, See, they're bowling over the wicket to the right-hander to create that natural angle across the batsman. So that makes it hard for the batsman to, to, to settle in and, and to play some big shots. That is what's required at this stage of the game for CDB. So this is good thinking from both the fast bowlers operating from the two ends. But still, even though they're bowling from over the wicket towards uh, the right-hander, they still got to make sure that they're bowling in in that outside the off stump channel and that is exactly what they're doing so it's been it's been a good passage of play for uh, ms once again very much straight bowling wicket to wicket it's either straightish straight wicket to wicket or just outside the off stump so that has been the plan for ms and it has worked really well so far Right, four consecutive dot balls in this over. Rather, five consecutive dot balls. Right, so a single taken. That'll be the end of the over. 24 runs on the board at the end of uh, the over number five for the loss of uh, three wickets.
Ihan Sharuk continuing uh, his third over, two wickets for 17. So that's a no ball, a free hit for Iranda Rukshan. No, I think uh, the uh, the free hit chance goes to Vishwarat Naik. Right, so Vishwa is on strike, a free hit. Vigihan Charko overstepping. That's up in there. Oh, it's gone all the way for a six. <laughs> the fielder just helped the ball on its way to a six. Just bounced off his palm and went all the way for a six. Thirty-four runs on the board for the loss of three wickets. Five point four overs. Chasing down a target of 178. It's been a brilliant start for MS. They're yet to introduce uh, a spinner. Now that's up in there. Oh, it's dropped. That was a difficult chance. Oh, these uh, CDB batsmen, they're, they're living dangerously. They're trying to go for big shots. They have a couple of run out chances as well. They've got to be careful. They're chasing down a target of 178, which is uh, very gettable. And they've 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 done it more than once in this tournament. So they just got to play it patiently, but it, because at the moment they're just trying to whack every single delivery out of the park, trying to get runs from every single delivery, and that's not going to work. You got to take your time. Plenty of time remaining. And th then the required run rate is 7.41. It's it's very manageable at this stage. So it's all about getting those singles and getting those twos and rotating the strike and not giving anything away for MAs uh, to uh, to get back into this game because they certainly have the upper hand at the moment. So it is just all about putting up some resistance and converting the pressure or returning the pressure back into the MAs players.
Seven overs done, 41 uh, for the loss of three wickets. Uh, they're chasing down a target of 178. CDB, a brilliant start for MAS, uh, picking up three wickets early on. And uh, looks like we're having a change of bowling. Right, so a spin attack. Uh, we're seeing a spin for the first time in this um, innings from MS. These two batsmen uh, so far have been able to put up a, a good resistance. Again, perfect placement this time, and it goes all the way for the boundary. Much needed boundaries for CDB. Vishwarat Naik this time. Perfect placement.
50 up for CDB. That's a good looking shot. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant catch. That's a fourth wicket. Now for a moment I thought Vishwanath Nayak uh, had a good contact with the bat and got it over the head of fielder, but no. A perfect timing for the jump. I wonder who that fielder was. That was a brilliant catch. So four down and CDB, 51 for the loss of four wickets in 8.4 overs. Fifty-one for the loss of four wickets in eight point four overs, chasing down the target of hundred and seventy-eight. And Dushmata is an eye picking up uh, a crucial wicket for uh, MS. Last ball of this over. A dot ball to end the over. A good over from Dushmanta Desanayaka. Nine overs done. It's uh, 53 for the last of four wickets.
That was almost a chance there, Chanitrana Singh. Uh, just uh, trying to go for a big shot. Last ball of this over. 56 uh, for the loss of four wickets. Tilina Khasun bowling his second over, now for 11. Uh, just a single to end that over. Another, oh, they're coming back for the second run. <laughs> That's good running between the wickets. So two runs to end that over. Ten overs done. It's uh, 58 for the loss of four wickets. Punched off the back foot that time from Iran the Rukshan. He was brilliant with the ball today, picking up two wickets and bowling that uh, last over. He's giving away just, uh, what, four runs in that last over. And picking up two wickets as well. Eleven overs done. It's uh, 62 for the loss of four wickets, uh, four runs from the previous over. Chanitran Singh on five, and Irandurak Shan is on ten of uh, 14 deliveries.
Another single taken that time. The, the bottom edge coming into play. Oh, that's a good looking shot. That's six. That's going all the way. The first six for Janet Ranasinga. That's uh, brilliantly struck there from uh, from Janet Ranasinga. He was touched too full outside the off stump. And he was quickly on to it and played it really well down the ground. A single taken that time, 12 overs done, it's uh, 72 for the loss of 4 wickets.
10 runs uh, from the previous over. Now uh, oh, the required run rate almost, uh, or rather just above 8 runs per over, which is, I still think it's manageable, given how well these two batsmen have played so far. If they can reduce it to at least 7.5 runs per over, it'll be much more manageable for the rest of the batsmen when they come in. But at the moment, CDB just need to uh, figure out a way to to score eight or more runs per over. Around the Rukshan on 13 and Johnny Thranasing on 13 as well. Right, so going uh, right around the wicket, Geet Sankalpa to the right hander. Just uh, trying to work that ball towards. Uh, oh, an overthrow. We'll love the batsman to go for that single. The run rate at this stage is almost six runs per over. So they've got to increase it at least seven and a half runs per over. So that they can control the required run rate. Punched on the ground. And it's a boundary. That's a good shot. Iran Rukshan. A touch too full from the spinner. We just continue to bowl over the wicket against the left-hander. But this time the angle wasn't there. And Iran Rukshan just uh, played it gracefully down the ground. All the way for a boundary. 78 runs on the board. A single taken that time. Last ball of this over. Asking the question and that's gone. That's brilliant stumping. Well, we've seen some really good uh, stumpings in this uh, match so far. Uh, two of them from uh, the uh, the CDB wicketkeeper, but this time it's the MAS wicketkeeper. Mm, it has done a perfect job behind the stumps to get rid of Janitrana Singer. Who looked dangerous out in the middle. And that breaks the partnership. This was building up to be... A threatening partnership for MAS, but the, the spinner gets it done, gets the job done. So 79 and half the team back in the pavilion.
CDB unbeaten in this tournament, but they're in deep trouble at the moment. It's in down a target of 178. 99 runs behind uh, the total. But the problem at the moment is half the side back in the pavilion. Erandar Rukshan looked solid out in the middle, 18 of 20. Played some really good shots, but now the pressure is on. The low middle order, and then it'll be the tail enders. So he's got to take the responsibility now. The inside edge. Coming back for the second run. And they'll take the two runs quite comfortably.
Geet Sankalpa bowling his second over, one wicket for just 10 runs for him. Oh, just once again trying to go for a big shot, but that time missed it. Aaron Rukshan, as I mentioned earlier, he survived. Oh, it's, it's going for a boundary. A really poor bit of feeling in the deep. To get back to what I was telling. Uh, Aaron Rukshan's survival out in the middle will definitely help things out for uh, CDB. If they are to chase this target down, 178 runs. So they got to make sure that the Randarukshan is out there in the middle until the very last overs. The rest of the batsmen can play around him. That's a good way to end the over. 95 runs on the board for the loss of 5 wickets. 15 overs done, 10 more to go. Randrakshan on 31 of 26 and Lalit Piris 2 of uh, 5 deliveries. That's a six wicket. Well, Erandrukshan. Now that was a big wicket. That definitely is a big, big wicket. And Gihan Charuka picking up his third wicket. It's 96 for the loss of uh, six wickets. And I miss that certainly in this game. It's 96 for the loss of six wickets.
Lalit Pires is on strike. Three runs for him and Chamil Silva at the other end. Uh, well, the run rate is almost six and a half runs per over, but that is not a problem. But the big problem is that they've only got four wickets remaining. Now, that was almost the seventh wicket. But maybe just sliding down the leg side, that must be the concern for the umpire not to give it yet, give it uh, as out. So 96 for the loss of six wickets. Gihan Charuka, again, brilliant display of bowling. Three wickets uh, uh, of 32 runs in 4.3 overs. This is some really good bowling from Gihan Charuka. Getting the ball away from the batsman. So 16 overs done, it's 96 for the loss of six wickets. Lalit Peel is just uh, trying to go for the big shots. That is understandable. With uh, the tail enders now being exposed. But I've been told uh, by one of the MA's uh, supporters that uh, the first group match that was also between these two teams, the CDB versus MAS. And uh, MAS went no. The CDB, they were in a similar position like this. They lost wickets early on. and But they went on to win the match. Just down even a bigger total of 190 odd runs. Though they lost early wickets, the tail enders came in and took the team towards the victory. So that's the kind of, kind of uh, potential that is required at this stage of the game from these tail enders. 
of CDB. And they're chasing down a target of 178. Off the edge. And that's a boundary. 100 up uh, for CDB. The score goes up to 102 for the loss of six wickets. We have two more deliveries remaining in this over. Seventeen overs done, hundred and two for the loss of six wickets. Six runs from that previous over. See that required run it now. It's almost ten runs per over. So that is going to be a problem coming into the last ten overs of this match. We already what eight more overs remaining in this match. So they got to make sure that they're getting at least closer to that uh, uh, required run rate of nine point five. Towards uh, the onside that time by Chomel Silva. Sitil Nakasun is bowling it onto the pads, so that gives easy access for the uh, for the batsman to just nudge that ball towards the leg side or towards the onside and, and get those singles. So he got to make sure that he's bowling in tight line and lens. No, that's gone all the way for a six. That's the confirmation from the umpire. Lalit Biris finally makes a good contact. And it goes all the way for a six.
That's up in there. And uh, a good catch in the deep. That's a big wicket. That's Lalit Pires who looked uh, solid out in the middle. But that's the seventh wicket. See, the fielder had to cover a lot of ground to get under the delivery, but he did well at the end. And that's a good catch. It's a pressure catch always. But he managed it really well. So 18 almost done. It's 110 for the loss of uh, seven wickets. That's another wicket. Chamel Silva trying to go for a big shot. It was wide outside the off stump. A short pitch delivery from Tarak under one. But uh, Chamel Silva trying to go for a big heave. But it didn't even, uh, didn't even cross the 30 uh, yard circle. So that's the eighth wicket down. And Chamel Silva is uh, going for just eight runs. Uh, so now it's 110 for the loss of eight wickets in 18.3 overs.
19 overs done, 111 runs. Nelson on the board for the loss of 8 wickets to CDB. The required run rate, now 11.178. Two more wickets remaining for uh, CDB. Oh, that's a good looking shot. Uh, it's a boundary, much needed boundaries for CDB. This time it's Isuru Jairanga. He was brilliant with the ball and now contributing with the batter as well. Eight runs so far from this over. So 20 overs done, uh, five, five more to go. 121 runs on the board for the loss of eight wickets, chasing down a target of 178.
That's a wise signal by the umpire. Shomal Mihiranga bowling his fourth over, one for nine. A brilliant display of bowling. Started off proceedings with the ball for uh, MAS. And so far, they've been able to, uh, or rather, Seumal has been able to contribute with the ball really well. Now that's up in there. And it's gone all the way for a six. Here's to Jairanga. Playing a gem of an innings here. He was up to 16 of just nine. But can he take a CDB over the line? That's the big question. So far, he, he faced all the short pitch deliveries sent by Seumal Mihiranga really well, Isuru Jairanga. So he's dealing uh, with those short pitch deliveries really well. So got to change their strategy, Seumal. You've got to change their strategy. You've got to bowl it full outside the off stump, maybe, if that's the correct line and length. But you've got to, you've got to try out something different against this Jairanga because at the moment, he's facing the short pitch delivery really, really well. The time touch to full off the edge, but there's protection in the deep third man region, so that'll be just a single. And so far, this over 11 runs with one more delivery to go. This is the kind of over that they, they require. The required run rate is now just, just about 11 runs per over, and they've got 11 runs already from this over. So that makes it 12. That's a good over uh, for uh, CDB. 133 for the loss of 8 wickets with uh, 4 more overs to go.
the single taken once again this time. Four consecutive singles in this over. Tilina Kasun, uh, one wicket for 35 runs for him. In 4.4 overs, the required run rate, 12 and a half runs per over. Almost 12 and a half runs per over, and it looks like the batsman is having a bit of a cramp. Well, we had consistent overcast conditions right from the morning. Perfect conditions for cricket. Twenty two overs done, three more overs to go, hundred and thirty eight runs on the board for the loss of eight wickets. Well, looking back into the bowling performances, Gihan Chal got three for thirty two, the standard performer of the lot for MA is active. And every ball contributing with a wicket so far. A good collective effort from MAS. But still the job is not done. Three overs. Three overs and they require 40 runs to win. Very gettable. Gettable, but it's tough since uh, both these batsmen are tail enders. But nothing's impossible in cricket. <laughs> 40 runs, 18 balls remaining. Do mean the 
is definitely limping. He's, he's, he's not perfectly fine when it comes to running. He was brilliant with the stumps. Or rather, with the wicketkeeper gloves. He was brilliant behind the stumps. Contributed with two stumpings. He was brilliant. Changed the game for uh, MA, for CDB. But now he's got a job to do with the... Uh, with the bat. Oh, that's a good-looking shot. Well, that's taken. That's taken. So that's the ninth wicket. Isuru Jayaranga played well for his 20 runs, but he has to depart, trying to go for a big shot. But that is understandable. The, the requirement was there to go for a big shot, but it was just not connected perfectly. And it went very, very high up in the end, safely taken. So Isuru Jayaranga gone for 20 off 15. Now, now it's nine down. For 141 runs. Punsar Gimhana is the new man in. Last man for uh, CDB. Hundred forty three at the end of uh, the over number twenty three. Two more overs to go. And it's an uphill task from here onwards for uh, Duminda and for Punsara and for C D B.
Right, so Dushmanta will uh, will bowl the uh, the penultimate over. Ah, that's a good looking shot. That goes all the way for a boundary. Much needed boundaries. This time a short pitch delivery on to the body of uh, Duminda and uh, he, he managed it well. He got it all the way for a boundary. 149 for the loss of nine wickets. One fifty up for CDB. Twenty eight more runs required. Eight deliveries remaining. Twenty eight runs, eight deliveries. Ah, oh, that's up in the air, but fill in no man's land. Was there a chance for the wicket keeper? It's hard to hard to tell. Right, so just uh, seven runs so far from this over with one more delivery to go. Right, so the last over, 28 runs to get. Six deliveries remaining. And Dominda is on strike. He's on 17 or 14. He's not connected properly. It's just a single. So that put uh, Punsara Gimana on strike. The last man for CDB. And he's on strike. Five deliveries, 27 runs to get. And now it's sealed. Unless there are some no balls or wides. Four legal deliveries remaining and 27 runs to get. MA's games now. Punsar Gimana just swinging at the delivery.
Right, so last ball. One ball remaining. CDB. Just one ball away from uh, being crowned as the champions of the MCAG division. Now that's up in there. Four fielders came down to take the catch. But never mind. It's a win for CDB. I beg your pardon, it's a win for MS. <laughs> MS winning the match quite comfortably. And uh, the players, the supporters, they're all out in the middle. They're all out in the middle enjoying themselves. CDB just uh, falling short of that uh, target set by the MAS. Wickets uh, falling in regular intervals. And CDB 153 for the loss of 9 wickets in 25 overs in their runches of 178 runs. Uh, brilliant balling performance from MAS team. And of course CDB was, uh, was also decent with the ball but... Uh, uh, well, they've been pretty good with the bat throughout this tournament, but just uh, couldn't quite get it done today in the finals. And as uh, MAS winning the match quite comfortably. So that's how it went uh, here at the MCA grounds. Uh, the finals of the MCA G division. And uh, MAS winning the match. Right, so this is how it happened. Uh, CDB, B team, uh, the batting card. Well, Eran the Rukshan, the highest run scorer, 31 of 27. And Isuru Jayarango also contributed with 20 runs of 15 deliveries. And in 25 overs, 153 for the loss of 9 wickets with 13 uh, extras. With the ball, MAS active, brilliant with the ball. As uh, Gihan Charuk, uh, uh, 3 wickets for 32 runs. And Tarak Sandaruan. Two wickets for 15 runs in four overs. Geet Sankarpe, one for 20. Tirena Kasun, one for 36. Dushmanta Desanayaka, one for 29. And Seumal Mihiranga, one wicket for 19 runs. In terms of partnerships, there was nothing convincing from CDB. Just uh, 28 runs partnership uh, between Iranda Rukshan and Vishwarat Nayaka was followed by another 28-run partnership between Chanitrana Singh and Iranda Rukshan. But the 31-run partnership between Dumindu and Isuru Jayaranga certainly took CDB back into the game. But right after the dismissal of these two batsmen, things started to collapse for CDB. So look at that. Vickers falling in regular intervals right from the start. That's where things went uh, downhill for CDB. They lost wickets in crucial intervals and uh, things just didn't work out for them here at the MCA grounds in the finals of the MCAG division. So CDB Finance, PLC 153 uh, for the loss of 9 wickets in 25 overs with uh, 4 sixes and 9 fours. So MA is active, uh, scoring 177 runs in their 20, 25 overs. And CDB, well, they were... They were on par for most uh, times of the innings, but just after that, uh, during that last 10 overs, things started to collapse. They lost tweakers in regular intervals and just didn't work out for them. And uh, right, so the match summary, MAS Active won the toss and decided to bat first 177 for the loss of 9 wickets in 25 overs. Roshan, which is taken at the highest run score of 62 of 46. Gates Ankal for 26 of 9 deliveries and with the ball, Isur Jaranga 4 for 22. Iranda Rukshan 2 for 21 runs. And CDB in reply, 153 runs uh, for the loss of 9 wickets in 25 overs. Iranda Rukshan 31 of 27. Isuri Jayaranga, 20 of 15, and Vishwarat Nayaka, 19 of 23 deliveries. Gihan Charuka, 3 for 32, Taraka Sandhu, 1, 2 for 15, and Selma Mihiranga, 1 wicket for just 19 runs. So, MA is active, winning the match by 24 runs, and uh, they hold the title of the MCAG Division Champions uh, of this year's MCA Tournament. Uh, congratulations to MA is active for winning the championship, and CDB came into these finals as one of the unbeaten teams in the tournament but just couldn't quite get it done here in the finals as MAS Active just uh, ended up being a bit too much for uh, CDB Finance to handle. They were brilliant with the bat to score 177 runs 
and then to restrict CDB for just 153 runs. They were brilliant with the ball. They were brilliant in the field. We didn't see any drop catches, but there were some half chances, but in terms of genuine drops, we didn't see any uh, from uh, both the teams, from MAS Active and from the CDB. So they've been brilliant. Some really good competitive cricket. That's what we love to see. That's what the fans want to see. And I think uh, both the teams uh, justified their position in the finals by those brilliant performances right so that's it from uh, the mca grounds hope you enjoy this live broadcast from the batsman.com and with the intention of seeing you with another match it's uh, goodbye from mca grounds here in colombo